Okay, chin-ups first. How many chin-ups can I do? Starting with the bottom. One. Two. Three. In this video, what I'm gonna go over is my training for the ski and snowboard season. So my athletic background is I did play hockey to a reasonably high level in my late teens and early 20s. I loved playing hockey in general and I loved the training structure of it. But some of the drills that I did in hockey were pyrometrics, which are kind of explosive um, exercises that really work on those quick twitch muscles and things like body weight exercises and Olympic lifting where you're using kind of multiple muscle groups, which is something I really prefer because to me it helps out with a lot more balance. Where if you're a bodybuilder or somebody trying to sculpt their body for looks, they tend to isolate and spend their time isolating certain muscles where I want to get the most out of every exercise. And that's where Olympic lifting, plyometrics and body weight exercises, I feel are just so helpful. But I do feel kind of unbalanced. I feel like my core, my chest, shoulders and arms haven't seen a lot of work and exercise. So I really want to balance that out and I want to kind of prevent injuries when I do fall and things like that. That's kind of a big goal. The other one is I want to hit the ground running here or skiing. I want to get to the hill and I just want to be in shape. I don't want to go through those three or four or five days of just having sore quads because my body's not used to those rapid movements. So Olympic lifting I really like because it includes a lot of balance and many muscle groups in one exercise and I really like that. Uh, the next step I took was looking at the gyms that incorporated those types of activities. I like plyometrics, body weight, uh, mobility, balance, and Olympic lifting. So this gym offers an incredible, seemed to offer a really dynamic way of training and a way that I really uh, associate good results with. So I wanted to meet with them. So I sent them an email kind of outlining my athletic history my goals and how I saw them fitting into it. So I met with the owner there and we ended up going for about an hour and we went through all the exercises that they typically do in the gym and he kind of critiqued my technique, made sure I knew what I was doing and, and that I had the strength and asked about certain injuries and those types of things because I do have certain things that uh, do hold me back in some sports like my ACLs are pretty much gone. So I let him know those things and he said my technique was very good, um, but a little rusty, of course. It's been over 10 years since I've done this kind of training. Um, so on top of that, on top of going to the gym, I'm also gonna plan to use my little home gym here, which is pretty well equipped. Um, it's got a nice little rack here. It's got a barbell and some dumbbells that are adjustable and a workout bench. And it's good enough for me when I wanna kinda do five or 10 minutes here and there. And that's kind of what I've been using it for now, also as a coat rack. What I think I'm gonna be using this home setup for mostly is really ski specific training, uh, technique training, and working on improving things like chin-ups. <laughs> my plan right now is to do two group sessions a week at the local gym, uh, whether that's group uh, Olympic lifting classes or whether it's just the boot camp. And I say just the boot camp, but that thing kicked my ass. <laughs> I did one day of it after biking all summer. And I did one day of the boot camp and with those plyrometric explosive <laughs> movements of burpees and, and uh, wall balls and all that. I was sore for three days after, like sore, sore. Like I, it hurt to get out of bed for three days and I didn't expect that, but I've done four now and I feel pretty good. Then also, yeah, five minutes a day. Just five minutes a day, I'm gonna come in here and do something. Whether it's chin-ups, push-ups, jump rope, stretching, whatever it is, I just wanna be in here and get that routine, that habit kind of formed. And that's it. That's all I have right now. Hopefully I can make some more videos of me training, of my lessons learned, 
through the training process. So if you've stuck around in this part of the video, first of all, thank you. Please consider subscribing. I will have a lot more ski content coming out this winter that I really hope people will find value and entertainment in. And I want to let you know what my plan is for this winter. So I'm planning on doing a lot of content this winter, uh, like two to three videos a week, ideally, if I can. Um, two of those videos will likely be ski and snowboard instructional videos. In my late teens and early 20s, I was a ski and snowboard instructor and I absolutely loved it. If it paid well, I would have kept doing it. It's such a passion of mine. I want to share that through videos. Thank you for sticking around and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. You.